Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We have some good news for Solana holders. Yes, the massive D the random DDoS attacks have really bogged Solana down, but there could be some massive good news for Solana holders. Now, Coinbase is very close to listing not Solana, but Solana ecosystem tokens. We know how Coinbase loves ERC-20 and it gives ERC-20 a huge advantage in terms of listing. Now, they might actually give the same advantage to Solana ecosystem tokens or SOL tokens. So the exchange's mission is, is the listing of every allowable crypto and they're taking a major step forward with plans to list uh, Solana's answer to ERC-20. Not really sure why they haven't added BNB tokens or Cardano tokens or any of that, but they focused on Solana. So this might be the uh, answer that Solana investors actually need and could actually make Solana a very good investment over again, at least in the shorter term. So Coinbase is readying its trading rails for Solana ecosystem tokens. So this does actually confirm what we've all suspected. They do favor one ecosystem over anything else right now, but they might favor two ecosystems over anything else right now. So the US-based crypto exchange plans to allow the withdrawals of SPL or Solana, Solana program library. So they basically program their backend or their database or whatever to integrate with like certain libraries. Right now it's ERC-20, but soon it will be SPL. And that is Solana's answer to Ethereum's ERC-20. I guess they don't really care if it's like centralized or decentralized. The sources said, one person added that Solana native USDC with its 4.8 billion in circulating supply would be among the supported assets. So Solana USDC, that will be very, very competitive with Ethereum USDC on Coinbase because obviously Ethereum USDC costs an arm and leg to transact where Solana-based USDC does not cost much to transact. That could definitely ramp up the competition on ETH. Sources said the features could come online in the near future. Coinbase declined to comment. So I don't really know who these sources are, but I hope they're true. And I hope they add other ecosystems too, like Cardano, VeChain, et cetera, all these others. I don't really know why they haven't added BEP yet. Um, I guess like Binance uh, with its legal issues and it's like, um, basically it doesn't really have like, I suppose a solid headquarters and they're trying to flaunt like authorities and stuff that might have problems with that. Listing SPL tokens would appear to mark a major development in Coinbase's token onboarding strategy, obviously. Um, and up until now, it has only listed Ethereum-based coins and flagship layer one assets. So basically, they haven't listed any ecosystem coins, essentially like only large layer ones. Um, obviously, they want to list every asset where it's legal to do so. And he increasingly necessitates stepping beyond the otherverse. So they're looking to list other assets, definitely. And that's really, really cool. And I think like you can look at Binance.us for all the assets that they should at least list, because those are obviously all uh, legal in the United States. Um, so I think they eventually will actually list them. That said, Solana's landscape of decentralized finance coins for exchanges, staking protocols more is relatively small in terms of market value, but everything's kind of small in terms of market value to Ethereum because they didn't exist while Ethereum has existed for a long time. Obviously, very, very good news for Solana holders. Definitely good news for Solana DeFi holders. More liquidity and more like uh, legitimacy when Coinbase actually lists you. I really do hope Cardano and others will follow along and then eventually Ethereum will not be so special in terms of US exchanges and listings. And Grace, this, white, this might actually get Grayscale to really introduce funds for these coins as well. So this could have a ripple effect throughout the entire system and other um, coins could actually come up and challenge Ethereum a lot easier once their ecosystem tokens can actually be listed by on-ramps like Coinbase. I mean, getting listed on Coinbase automatically gets you on CMC, CoinGecko, and all that other stuff. And it'll get you a lot more noticeability in the market, which is very, very important right now. It's very important for marketing and branding and marketing and branding we know can easily make or break a certain coin. So definitely, definitely keep your eye on this. Uh, don't uh, don't let this slip because this is a pretty big deal and it definitely could signal Solana being ready to list other ecosystems as well. Binance, like I said, they might not list because of like uh, regulatory issues, but other coins they could definitely list. Um, like if they can list like Shiba Inu, they literally can list anything because Shiba Inu, we all know, is a garbage meme coin. Well, I won't say garbage meme coin, but they've been talking about getting their own mainnet for a while and it still hasn't happened yet. I mean, if they can list meme coins, they could literally list any other coin, like without too much legal issue. There are coins that might be considered securities, but if you really think about it, like there's a lot of ERC-20 coins that actually allow staking rewards. So staking rewards would not be an excuse for the exchange not to list them. It looks like ETH, uh, Coinbase has really just been ramping up 
uh, listing other things, and now hopefully they will list other things besides the ERC20. So that's the, th that's the news for today. Let me know what you think, like, and subscribe, and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you, and have a nice day.